gameplay footage from the day before was released a couple of days ago. The day before is an open world massive multiplayer online survival game set in a deadly post-pandemic America overrun by flesh hungry infected and survivors killing each other for food, weapons and cars. You wake up alone in a world you no longer remember, setting out to find answers and the resources to survive. It has similarities to The Division and The Last of Us franchises, which makes it very interesting to gamers and content creators such as myself, especially with The Division possibly coming to an end. In this video I will show you the gameplay demo, describe what the game will look like as far as we know and provide my humble and above all balanced opinion. Before continuing the video, as an added way to increase my income on YouTube I have joined affiliate programs of companies and products that I support. The affiliate links can be found in the description. You can support me by using the supported creator code MastermindsHD in the Epic Games Store and by clicking on or buying games and other products through the Kingwin and Amazon links. On top of that I link to each of the products I use in my setup as a content creator so if you're considering using these products you can support me by following the link. I will only recommend products and services I use myself. Thanks for your support and enjoy the video. Welcome to the short gameplay demonstration trailer for The Day Before, an upcoming open world multiplayer survival game. The Day Before features a huge, stunningly detailed post-apocalyptic world destroyed by a terrible virus. Running out of fuel. Great man, awesome. We'll look around here, I guess. Shall we split up? Yep. I'll find out what's in the skyscraper. Okay, and I'll look around here. Let's see what we have here. All right, all right, all right. I have found a great cowboy hat. Tell her everything's all right. And there aren't any more guns in the valley. Easy, cowboy. Listen up. This is Woodbury Survivor Colony speaking. If you can hear this message, it means that we have opened our doors for new survivors. We can give you food and shelter and ensure your safety. Here are the coordinates. Did you hear that? Yep, I got a message too. Great, maybe I can sell my junk there and get myself a better rifle. Let's find some fuel and go. In the survivor colony, you can sell and buy any items as well as cooperate with other players. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three fresh hands to turtle in The Day Before, you can enter abandoned buildings and take whatever you want. The main thing is to be careful, because not all players are friendly. Let's pick up some supplies and get out of here. Let's check it out. Oh shit, got company. Could use some help now. Things are about to get heated. Over here! Gotta go upstairs. Okay, I'm running toward you. The snowstorm is starting right now, and the temperature is falling fast. Remember that when you shoot and make unnecessary noise, it can attract unwanted guests even more Fuck. terrifying than other players. The day before is teeming with hungry hordes of bloodthirsty infected, ready to tear you to pieces. 
Whew, that was close. You should have seen this shit. It seems he dodged a bullet. Now he's crafting a bandage so he doesn't die from bleeding. Hey, are you upstairs already? Published by Mytona and developed by Fantastic, The Day Before is an open-world massive multiplayer online survival game set in the deadly post-pandemic America, overrun by flesh-hungry infected and survivors killing each other for food, weapons and cars. You wake up alone in a world you no longer remember, setting out to find the answers and the resources to survive. That's the description of the game. You search abandoned vehicles, houses and skyscrapers as you scavenge for resources, crush the infected and other players with realistic weapons, becoming a legend of the new world and explore the beautiful yet dangerous places with stunningly detailed vehicles. Take part in the restoration of the former society before it's too late. In the survivor colony you can sell your loot and communicate safely with other players. The day before looks to be the love child between The Division and The Last of Us with a little bit of DayZ or State of the Gate sprinkled in. In its gameplay and setting it resembles The Division. The game seems to be set in the state of New York. Although the gameplay demo is set in a wintry Manhattan in New York City, artwork shared by the developer shows a variety of cities and rural areas, from the urban streets of New York City to the wintry mountains and forests where the Woodbury Survivors Colony is probably located. The survival part comes into play not only in looting but also in the cold, hunger and hydration icons in the bottom. Many people draw the comparison to the survival game mode from The Division or The Dark Zone and I think there are definite similarities there such as the cold meter and the setting and it being a player versus player versus environment setting. In its logo design, the addition of Infected and the flashlight, it touches common ground with The Last of Us 2, although the Infected don't look anywhere near as detailed. The gameplay demo shows off the beauty of the lighting and pretty graphics, but we have to keep in mind that it's a heavily scripted sequence and currently the only released footage of the game. Plus, even in the short gameplay demo I found features that I wasn't per se amazed by. The animations, from the player walking to the infected horde running, although not bad, seem choppy and clunky. The looting, although similar to many other survival games, is in my opinion a bit outdated and lacks immersion. To loot you press and hold the action key and upon finishing that action you are presented with a menu with slots, no animations shown in the meantime. Compare this to The Last of Us where when you reach for something there are detailed animations followed by a clean yet simple menu. However, this wouldn't be a deal break for a game like this as long as the core gameplay is strong. However, let's keep in mind that a multi-billion dollar publisher such as Ubisoft with a triple A developer studio like Massive Entertainment released an amazing and beautifully scripted gameplay sequence at E3 in 2013 which this game is very clearly based on. The game that was released 3 years later, although definitely a fun game, was downgraded to the point where it didn't look anything like in the trailers and gameplay shown before. Seeing as Fantastic and Mytona don't have anywhere near the resources and have shown very little gameplay footage at this point, I think it's smart to approach this with skeptic optimism. I think the day before has definite potential and it's all down to execution. With the Division franchise quite possibly coming to an end, something you and I share a passion for, I think it's a good move to keep an eye on the day before. It will release in the second quarter of 2021, meaning it will release between April and June. Thank you guys very much for watching. The creation of these videos is very time consuming from writing the script to designing the motion graphic. If you like these type of videos and want to support me in continuing creating, there are several things you can do. Liking or disliking, depending on what you thought of the video. Other than views, this shows me how much you like the content I put out. Subscribing reinforces your support and shows me you want more videos. Leaving interactive comments or feedback reminds me I'm not just doing it for myself and shows how I can improve. 
Another way to support me is to join the channel and become a member for one, five or ten dollars. Other than badges and emojis, members will have early access to uploads of the large projects such as short films and large lore videos. And I will personally thank you at the end of each video. With that in mind, I want to say thanks to Monty Lambert for being the first tier 2 member and to Hidden Foxtel, Khalil Cheeks, Nervous Wrecked, Sparky22, Karsten Block and Sal Martinez for being tier 1 members of the channel. Your support means a lot. And the last way, as I mentioned at the start of the video, you can support me by using the affiliate links and creator codes mentioned in the description. I'm invested in creating this brand and making it work. So the more support I gain, the more time and energy I can invest in YouTube to turn it into a full-time job. In turn, this will result in more frequent uploads, higher quality content, and of course, an amazing community with you guys. But however you choose to support me, I will be creating and uploading content nonetheless, because I like what I do. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.